right, so we are back. We decided to change it up a little bit today. Uh, we also, besides studying nutrition and health, we also do have different crafts we do. Sandy is a seamstress. We said that before. I crochet, but we thought we'd show you a little bit of what we do for our, our business. We promise we'll get back to health and nutrition in another video. We have a lot more to say on that too, but we're changing it up. And oh, and may I just say too that in a month we're going to spring training, Cubs spring training. Thank you, my brother, for doing that. Her brother too, for taking <laughs> us. And we're going to be in Arizona. And so we're excited about that. And then baseball comes and that gives us more to talk to or about. Talk to her about. Okay. I'll talk to the baseball people oh. if they would let me. I They'd love probably throw me out of the people. park and never let me come back. Well, it'd be, probably be creepy old women talking to yeah, baseball people. Yeah, but we're creepy old women anyway. We might as well talk to baseball we people. kind of creep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, oh, but, but we do. digress. <laughs> but boy, do I love baseball. Oh, I just can't wait for it. Well, I'm glad football's over. The, the game that will not be named that happened over the weekend <laughs> is done. <laughs> and... We are moving on. I we, even like the game. I know. We don't even hate football. We just love baseball. It's just in the way of baseball. Yeah. So, having said all that, let's see. Sandy has some things she just finished up on a special order. Okay. A couple of them are finished. Something's not quite finished, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is something that I do for our little business. I make makeup bags with coordinating coin purses. That's one of my favorite fabrics, too. With... Coordinating key fobs and coordinating lip balm holders that clip on the on a uh, link on the outside of your purse, so you just have it handy all the time. Yay. I do I do these out of all kinds of fabrics, and uh, this is just one I happen to have on hand before we send them up to our BSP, who is our business savvy partner, who is almost so my daughter. <laughs> she's the salesperson. She's the She's got a master's degree. She knows she, how to do this stuff. Edie and I just sew and crochet. But she bosses us around. She bosses us around and we say, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, you do some. Oh, okay. Well, I just finished this. Well, no, I'm not finished. I've got to do the edging. But um, this is, I have a cute little friend who's having a baby girl in, in about a month. And I have spent the last two months making this for her. Sorry, business. Here, this, let me. This business savvy person, my niece, did because I have been a little sidetracked doing this for a gift, so I haven't done any real jobs. But um, this is almost done. I'm going to do the edging on it and then finish up with that. And while we're on the blanket theme, I also make that. These are my two styles. I like granny squares. They're fast to put together. If you have to crochet or knit in straight rows, um, see, and there's the, the edging. It takes forever, so I like granny squares. They're a faster put together, and then there's these just solid, I love this one. This solid one's squares, beautiful, and uh, kind of a teal cream thing going. And I really on. like the edging. Yeah, that you edging. see that roughly edging. I think that's so cool. So, and I also make adult ones. These happen to be baby ones. So, all right, why don't you show your next one? Okay, this is project is almost finished. Not quite, but almost. This is a custom order. This is a tote slash diaper bag, whatever you want it to be. It's got six pockets on the outside. One, two, two on the sides, three, four, another one on the side for a total of six. And it has six pockets on the inside. You probably can't see those as well. I still have a couple of things to do with it, and then I'm shipping these off to our business partner because uh, someone requested these. So these are already, this is a custom order that I'm just finishing up. All right, and then another thing I do, you probably can't see this cute little setup, but I have little coasters and uh, that I make. So the, the mug sits right on it, and I can do them in any, anything. We these happen to be all a set, but I also do, this was my 4th of July collection, and uh, here's another 4th of July collection that I do. And those are all the coasters. I have others. Oh, here is that a Christmas? Oh, here's a Christmas. It's kind of a, a kind of a trivet. Trivet. It can be a dish rag. I make my um, trivets, dish rags, pot holders, coasters out of 100% cotton because they are not flammable or they can withstand a lot of heat. So that they're good for trivets and they're just coarser for scrubbing your dishes with. So there's that, and uh, I do those in different. There's another one different sizes and uh, 
colors. There's some more, some more Christmas ones. And they make great gifts too because I gave a bunch of them away for Christmas and they're unique. So people really enjoy them. And Our DSP is going to wonder why you're giving your stuff away. That was a Christmas present. <laughs> I know I'm getting mad at me because I give, and it might be a good way for business to come in if they tell people. So there. <laughs> so, so, did you show all your stuff? I did. Okay. Well, well I, that, don't, I don't have any purses here. I also make purses, but we'll um, do that another day. But I just think we wanted to say too, um, we both were able to retire pretty young for retirement age because we, we worked for the government. We worked for the government. We only had to do thirty years and we started very young so we were able to get out relatively young for for uh, retirement age so i tell people though because when you tell people you're retired at the age you are they think you're lazy but <laughs> really so i think they think i'm lazy maybe it's more me projecting what i think onto them but uh, we didn't retire to be lazy we retired to pursue our own things we wanted to have a business we've wanted to have our own online business we've wanted to do craft fairs there are other things we wanted to do, obviously with the YouTube channel. We wanted to do something that we thought would, would tap into who we are. We just really believe that we have, everybody has talents and gifts to share. And they may not be obvious. Some people are really good musicians. Some people are really good art, artists. Those are obvious talents. But not every musician makes music like any other musician. They come with their own beat, their own hearing. And artists draw or whatever their art form is. It might be ceramics or something else. They have their own unique gift in artistry. Some people have a good sense of humor. Some people are good listeners. Some people have common sense that other people don't have. <laughs> and some people have wisdom and are just a good friend. So whatever your talent is, I, I really just don't like complacency in me. You guys can do whatever you want, obviously, but I don't like to be complacent. I think I have one life. I want to live it to my fullest. We are not really social people, believe it or not. This is way outside our comfort zone. We don't really like to go out to social things. I'm not a party person. I don't enjoy large groups of people. But this, but we do have some things that we do. And you might be, I think we're all part of a big puzzle. We each bring a piece into a big puzzle. Some of, some of you may be the center of the puzzle. You like the center of attention and you need to be there because there has to be a center of the puzzle. But some people fill in the outsides in the corners. And the puzzle's not complete without them too. Even if they only just hang around the fringes, you still need them to make the puzzle. And that's what your gifts and your talents are for, is to help others. They connect us without one one piece of the puzzle. The puzzle's not complete, but your your piece is important. All the, Because we all have different gifts and talents, whatever they may be, um, we help each other. So Sandy sews. I crochet. We have other things that we can do too that we're good at, but we're not good at, we're certainly not good at drawing. We really stink at drawing or painting or any of that sort of stuff. But somebody else is good. But oh, I have a son who's a, and a grandson who are wonderful drawers. It's innate. It's, but it's not innate from me. Yeah, it is innate. And them. it's not innate from his dad. He, from my son's dad. It, my son and, and his son, my grandson, draw beautifully. They, they really do an awesome job. So everyone has a talent. Everyone yeah. has a skill. And I really believe that those different talents are there for us to come together to help each other in whatever form that is. You may not be the party goer. You're not going to go light up the party like uh, that's how we are. We're not going to go sit at a party because we're not going to light it up. We aren't going to do anything but be antsy and check our watch and want to know what time we get to go home. But that's not who we are. And that's okay. You don't have to be somebody else. But you bring your part to the puzzle or your piece to the puzzle so it fits in and we make a whole picture. Um, we all have a different role to play, but your piece is important. And that's how I feel about our gifts and our talents, whatever they are. I We have done, before we started the business, I have done blankets that we've taken to shelters. Just because there's that too. You don't have to sell it. Whatever your gift or talent is, you can go... Uh, cheer up somebody. You may not sew, you may not crochet or knit or anything else, but you can go hang out in a nursing home and just kind of visit with those people and be a volunteer because that may be something you're good at is conversation. We all rely on each other to bring our piece to the puzzle. Figure out what you want, what you love to do, and then figure out how to make a living out of it. So just figure out what where you find your joy, what you love to do, and figure out how to bless other people's lives with it. With the studying that we've done on new health and nutrition and all that it has done for us, we're hoping that through our videos on those health, 
on the topics of health and nutrition that we're able to just help one person maybe that will will be able to um, maybe make some adjust some adjustments in their food plan so maybe they won't have the inflammation and maybe they won't have the pain in their joints just whatever we can do with what with the gifts with which we have been blessed then we want to do that we want to share those things there's a quote by a guy named Spencer W. Kimball and where he said God does notice us, and notice us and watch over us, but it's usually through another person that he meets our needs. That means that God uses you to help someone else or vice versa. That sometimes if you're begging God for help, he's going to often send another person. It's not going to come in the form of, form of manna on your, on your doorstep. Or an angel. A, or an angel coming to visit you. But it's going to come in the probably the earthly form form of an angel yes because that's how we help each other he could have done this any way he wanted to he didn't have to involve each of us in each other's lives in order to make certain things happen but that's the way he chose so that we would interact with each other and we would be able to help each other and get help from each other and thereby we depend on each other so that's our message that's it have a great day and a great week and we'll be back and if you have a talent that you'd like to share, take pictures of them. Post it in the comments. I, oh. I guess you can post it. Can you post pictures in the comments? I don't know. Try and see. Let us know see. if you can. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, try. Show us what you can do. Yeah, let us know what you do because we're chances are we're not doing it. We, we're we pretty much showing you what we know how to do. So anyways, um, yeah, and leave comments. Leave a like on us. Let your friends know about us. We appreciate and we appreciate all of those of you who have commented. We really appreciate the the um, nice words you say, the encouragement you give us, and just the support. Just the support. So, thanks a lot.